And keeping it green this morning on NBC6, today is National Recycling Day, which promotes recycling across the nation. Our morning reporter, Mata Drain, joining us live from Bossier City's Recycling Center with more information about why today is so important. Mata, good morning. Good morning, Fernanda. Well, it's always good to keep it green. I am joined here with the executive director of Keep Bozier Beautiful. They're always doing something in the community to make sure that we're on top of making sure our environment is clean. Talk about this makeover that you all have helped the recycling center with recently. Yes, this spring we had the opportunity to do a facelift here in our recycling center and really it was an educational blitz for our residents who recycled here, teaching them how to clean their products before they bring them to be recycled and how to place them in the proper containers. And through Keep Louisiana Beautiful on a grant we received, we were able to uh, repaint our bins, put new signs up and, and do some sprucing up. We had students here from all of our schools, our, our local schools, and it was a win-win for everybody because the students were winning as they were helping to teach our residents. Awesome. It looks absolutely beautiful. And talk a little bit about the not only just recycling here, but it's a parish wide thing. That's right. We do also recycle in Bossier Parish on Courthouse Drive behind the courthouse near the Benton Library. We have uh, recycling there for cardboard and it is a very, very uh, used facility and we are very happy to have a lot of people go in there to recycle. We're hopeful to have a new compactor there. We're in the uh, a grant process with the Circular Recycling Partnership and we're hopeful that they can help us put in a, a compactor there to even increase our recycling for cardboard there. Okay, hopefully so. Now, speaking of cardboard, we got a tour recently and we're here and they're going to just be giving us a little bit um, of a preview of what they do to that cardboard to make sure that we're keeping it green. I'm joined here with Mr. Thomas, who works with the Public Works. Tell us all about what is going on behind us here. What he's doing, he, when the citizens bring the cardboard and then they bring it in, he'll come in, put it in the baler and bail it. Then they'll, when they get a bail made, they'll take it out and then same way with the plastic. They'll make bales out of it. All right, sounds good. So we're definitely keeping it green over here at the Recycling Center. And I'm going to take it on back to Miss Lynn because she's going to be telling us all the information that we need to know about what you guys have coming up next. Yeah, we do have uh, in January on Arbor Day for January the 20th, we'll be planting uh, uh, more than 50 trees. And we want to invite residents to join us to bring a small team of, of folks to help us plant trees. But I do also want to mention that we have a, a recycling project at our prisons, Bossier Parish Prisons Recycle, the only one in the state that has incorporated recycling into corrections. So we're really excited to do that too. All right. Thank you so much for being here with us this morning. You all remember to keep it green and recycle as much as you can because it really pays off. All right. I'm Mata Drain for NBC6 News.